All right. So I had uh, 459 miles of zero critical disengagements till now. And it's kind of hard to see if FIC would ever work in a situation that I'm about to try. So this happened a minute ago. I'm going to try it right now and see if it's going to happen again. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was really disappointed. I had 459 miles of, of uh, no critical disengagements. I was like literally shooting for 700 miles, but it didn't happen. We're on 12. Four, three. and there's a construction zone that's coming up here they just put out the cones and I'm going to try to do it without a lead car because I think it works well with a lead car but uh, essentially it couldn't figure out which lane to go into there was oncoming traffic coming at me and it chose that lane so I had to disengage uh, but it didn't it just it's it's a hard one this this is like a weird edge case type but it's gonna be really hard to uh i don't know i don't know how fsd would fix this in the future but let's see okay so you'll see the construction zone coming up here um and see it's taking this this see it's, it's trying to go into oncoming traffic it stops and it just stops. Before I was going this way, so I had to disengage, but this, they just lay these cones out. Um, it's not, like I said, this is like a weird edge case because it, it makes the FSD go into, um, onto a shoulder road. So I don't know how they would program this or AI code it or whatever the heck they do too. Uh, let's see if it works with the lead car maybe. There's not that much space between here and... Oh, here, yeah, I'm gonna be a jerk. Sorry. Okay, what's it gonna do again? Yeah, it's... Oh, okay, the lead car works. 459 miles on 1243. I was really looking forward to... Uh, to breaking the record. I don't know what the record is, but I was looking forward to it. And then this is the other issue I have. On a red light, I have to always assist it. Like, it stops. There's no sign that says no turn on red. So I always have to give it a little bit of acceleration. This is like on every red light I've been on with 12.43. Um, even though light, lights that turn uh, arrows green, they'll still stay red. I mean, they'll still stay stopped. Okay, here we go. No cars coming, and which path is it going to take? It is trying to take the oncoming path, so we will disengage again. So that is uh, Elon, if you're watching, or Tesla AI team. Um, maybe if you guys haven't considered this edge case, we might need to add this at 12.5.1.1.1.1.1. I'm excited. Hardware 3 coming out tomorrow for 12.51, according to, uh, to Elon. We got a couple of coffee bets going, so we'll see. If it's going to be uh, downloading tomorrow my car. I'll try this again. Okay, red light. I'm not going to assist it. It's turning. <laughs> Okay, FSD 12.4.3, first critical disengagement. And they just laid out this construction. It is a bit confusing. It is a definitely an edge case. Not your normal, typical, what do we got here? So it's, it's trying to go into the oncoming traffic. Like, oh, there's another Tesla, let's play chicken. So I don't know what, there's a car coming behind me, but I'm just gonna, all right, it just stops. So like these aren't the things you can really duplicate, right? Because it's such a new terrain, it's such a new construction layout. Um, it's always going to be different. And I'm just like wondering. And I'm sure they probably have this figured out. They probably have all these things to consider when they develop FSD software. But it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out with the new 12.5 and future software updates because you can't really duplicate these type of situations. They're so 
random and they're so unique to the terrain. I mean, even if the guy laid out the same construction zone tomorrow, he could put the cones over a foot this way or a foot that way, you know, like, is that something that will affect FSD making a decision? Come on, buddy. Well, it wants to go through the red light this time, so I'm gonna just cancel this and uh, let it go this way. Okay, let's see. I'll get some cars covered, so I think it's just gonna continue stopping. Last time, if you haven't watched it, watch the replay of this just the very beginning. It oh shoot. Okay, there's no cars coming, so is it gonna try to take that lot? Yep. So it's trying to take this oncoming traffic lane. Sorry. My car is not doing what it's supposed to do right now. Um, but yeah, so like this, this is the thing that I have a question about the robo taxi. Um, I've heard Omar talk in spaces about Waymo and everybody talks about Waymo, this and that, and they're very geofenced, right? So they're gonna be laid out in specific locations where they know there's not gonna be any kind of craziness going on. But even in a geofenced location, if you have, say this was a little town that was geofenced for Waymo or for Robo Cyber Cab, whatever you're gonna call it, how do you um, how do you fix a situation like this? Even if it's geofenced and they happen to happen to do like piping or water work or something where they have to lay out the construction immediately, how is that gonna work? This is my question. And that's partially because I don't know how AI works. And I'm not, I'm just a consumer of the product. So if I want to have reassurance that the software is going to work for me as a consumer, I may want to know how AI works, but at the end of the day, I just want this to work. And not really have to worry about studying a whole new programming language. See, like, it's really... Sorry, yeah, I know. So, <laughs> she's pointing at me. She's like, there's the road. Sorry, I'm not driving. It's FSD. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. The lady was like pissed off because I'm like in her lane and she's pointing. There's the road, idiot. I know, I know, I'm not driving. And it's probably going to be another person that's going to go back to their home and family like, see this Tesla driver, all these Tesla drivers are idiots, so you don't know how to drive. Oh, boy, oh boy. i this one more time and I'll kill the feed and I'll try to see if I can post this uh, in HD because I don't know if you guys are losing signal or if the signal cut out issues with streaming but yeah going back to my my thoughts I just don't understand um, AI and I don't know how this will be fixed and I'm sure technology from what I've heard other people talk about that technology and AI will evolve and learn over time so maybe this will be fixed I don't know when but my goal is to build reassurance to the consumer community about a product that's supposed to work as designed, right? So, okay, we have no car. Oh, but we do have a car coming in. All right, this will be my last one because we, we know what it's going to do. It's been doing this over and over and over again. Um, yeah, so it stops. It sees a car. The good news is it's... Oh, well, no, it doesn't stop. It's, it's still going. Oh, shoot. All right, forget it. I'm done. Um, yeah, so the good news is that it... Well, I was going to say it, it's not going to go into oncoming traffic with a car there, but it just did that. So I don't know if there's any good news in this edge case. Um, no idea. But uh, I was hoping to not post any videos until 12.5 came out, but this just literally happened on my drive. 459 miles of uh, no critical disengagements till to this morning. And um, yeah, just disappointed. But hey, I have more miles now than my last one. I think the last one was, what, 360 before I got that phantom dog where it stopped. So we're at four. 460 almost another hundred miles good and then once I get 1251 tomorrow Scott super Scott I will uh, though I can't guess I can't really retest that unless they have their construction up tomorrow <clears throat> which they very well <coughs> excuse me which they very well could um, so yeah that's a little edge case that was just found